Welcome to this streamlined guide for the SMA Energy Meter, your path to mastering intelligent energy management. We'll navigate you through setting up the energy meter on a split phase system, streamlining the entire installation process. Ready to enhance your expertise? Let's get started. When opening the box, you'll have the SMA Energy Meter. Attached to it is the magnetic mounting adapter. You'll also have the power cable that's three feet long, a box that includes two current transformers or CTs, which are four feet long, the manual, a 120 ohm resistor, and two RS-485 connectors. Now, let's learn how to install the energy meter on a split phase system. First, make sure the electric panel is switched off before removing its cover. The energy meter comes with an attached mounting adapter, which can't be detached if necessary. Press this tab and lift it away. To reattach the adapter, simply slide it back into place like so. Remove the adhesive tape and select a suitable location to mount the energy meter. Notice that you can mount the energy meter in these orientations as well. Let's start with the CTs. Connect the CT cable to the energy meter. The CT wire on 1 and 2 must go on line 1 of the panel, while the CT wire on 3 and 4 must go on line 2 of the panel. The arrows on the CTs must point towards the utility. Review the CT label for its rating. Open the clamp of the CT designated for line 1 and secure it around line 1 in the panel. Then clamp the CT for line 2, making sure both CTs are oriented to face towards the utility for accurate energy flow measurement. Now let's move on to the power cable. Connect the power cable to the energy meter by plugging it in securely, just like so. Next, attach the neutral wire to the neutral bus bar. For the black wire, connect it to a vacant L1 circuit breaker, suitable for either 120 volt or 240 volt systems. And finally, Connect the red wire to an available line 2 circuit breaker. Next, connect a 300 volt rated shielded Cat5-6 cable from the front of the energy meter and to the inverter or the home router. This is the preferred method. Alternatively, you can connect the energy meter to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy via RS-485 as a backup option. That does complete the installation of the energy meter. The next steps require that you commission the system with a 360 app. We hope you found this video demonstration helpful. Visit sma-america.com for more resources. Thanks for watching.